Hey there, this is Neil Napier and in this video I wanted to give you a complete walkthrough of Webinar Hero and show you exactly what it is and how you can use it as well. Now Webinar Hero is a very powerful webinar platform that would allow you to do live webinars for your audience of any kind. You could do webinars with you actually being on the video or you could simply share your screen and show them whatever you want to show them and educate them, sell them and even more. So let's go into webinar here and I can show you how easy it is to use. By the way, just to show you some of the results that we've been getting, we have had tremendous success by running webinars with our customers and we expect you to have similar results. So let's go in and create a new webinar. All you have to do to get started is click on create live webinar. Once you do that, it will ask you to either take settings from an old webinar that you have created or create a new one. In this case, let's create a new one. So there we are, we are done. All I have to do then next is click on create new webinar. Once all the details are in, then it automatically brings up this webinar interface for me. Now, you'll see quite a few buttons and I'll tell you each and everything about everything you need to know. Uh, first of all, you see sales and leads. This is where, depending on the level, of course, you can actually go ahead and manage your leads in that you can download, download your leads as well. But this is where you will see all the pages. The first thing that you see, of course, is its statistics. So how many people have ended up on the landing page? How many people are on the thank you page, live webinar? And how many people have seen the webinar replay? If you're creating a webinar funnel, then it is instrumental that you see uh, details like these. If you wanted to turn a webinar from still pending to live, you could do that here. If you wanted to put it in replay mode, you could do that here. So that whenever any traffic hits that page, it automatically goes to one of these links that you have picked. Now the very first thing that you will see here is the landing page. Let me just show you what the landing page looks like when you're starting out. So the landing page is quite simple. There's a subheadline, there's a headline, there's a space for video or image if you wanted to, and additional text as well as the space for adding opt-in details. Let's go back to the software and I can show you how easy it is to edit everything. First of all, you can edit banner settings if you wanted to. In this case, I'm just going to hide the banner area, but in case you wanted to show it, you could put some banner area behind the headline or above the headline rather, and you could also put in images instead if you wanted to. Let me just hide that because we don't need it. Then you have edit background settings. So again, you have the big color palette. If you wanted to choose a different color background, you could choose that too. Again, I'll let that go in this case. Now this is important. If you wanted to change your headline, you could change that too. So in this case, I've already set it up based on the previous screen, introducing this exclusive webinar from Neil Napier. Check out this amazing software. If you wanted to change that, you could change that too. And automatically the details will change here as well. Let me just minimize this then you have the call to action area or the video area so either here you can choose to put an image or in this case you could put a video embed code so let me grab a video embed code and show you what this page would look like after i've made a few modifications so after modifying a few things including the date and the title and everything this is what i have i'm going to go back in and show you exactly how to change these two so let's go back here into jv access and i'll show you that the other things that you need to add is you can change the sales copy, you can change the opt-in headline, the opt-in webinar date, opt-in form settings, as well as then integrate this with your autoresponder. So you can either directly integrate this with SendReach, we have already built that integration in, or you can grab the HTML code of your autoresponder and put that in this software as well. And this is particularly important for anyone who wants to use their own third-party autoresponders. Uh, let me just minimize that. The next thing is connecting it with Facebook. So if you wanted to actually get leads via the Facebook Connect button, you can do that too. We've given you all the training that you need to set up this Facebook Connect button as well. Once you've done everything, simply click on Save and Update, and then your changes will be reflected within the final page. Now, this is just a landing page. Let me talk also about the Thank You page. Once people opt in into your landing page, you can take them to a Thank You page. In this case, the Thank You page, the first Thank You page has been set up like this. So the times have been set up and everything has been set up already but what I'm going to do is I'm again I'm going to go back and change a few things so I can change what the thank you page looks like so when you made all the changes this is what your thank you page could look like as you'll see there are multiple features here you can put your videos in there you can put your images as well and you can give people reminders via Google Calendar or iCal Outlook Moreover, this is the live URL that people need to click and save to be able to attend the live webinar 
once the countdown timer hits zero once you start the webinar from the back end and here's a cool part you can actually get people to share your links with their friends and other people simply to get more shares simply to get more viewers coming back to your page and signing up to your webinars let's go back to the setup and i can show you other features within this setup as well you can edit here the thank you headline you can put in a call to action video or image if you wanted to and you can present the webinar url as you want this could either be a webinar express url or a custom webinar url that you want again all the details are already provided right over here and then you can get people as i showed you earlier to share and unlock gifts as well as edit ticket webinar info block and then edit mini countdown area as well so if you wanted to change the countdown timer you could do that as well in this case and finally the add to calendar block again if you wanted to send people reminders why their calendars you could do that too next is the live webinar section now in this case, this is a live webinar page. So let me show you what this page actually looks like when you're just starting out. As you can see, it's quite simple. Here's a space for the live video to go to. Here's a space for Q&A and an awesome free gift if you wanted to give them one. I'm going to go in, change a few things and show you what the page could look like. And by the way, this is the preview countdown page as well that people will see when they land on that page and if the webinar isn't quite ready yet it's quite easy to change the webinar settings just by clicking here and changing name uh, time dates anything else if you wanted to put the live embed video code here you could do that now this is really really important you can either play replay webinars by putting a recorded uh, a video here a youtube video or what you can do is you can actually use Google Hangouts for this. So let me go into Google Hangouts and show you how you can integrate Google Hangouts with Webinar Hero, which is basically what fires this bad boy up. Okay, so this is the pre-launch page. The the Okay, so this is the webinar that I have set up in Google+. Plus. When I click here, you will see that this is the Hangout that I have actually created within Google+. Plus. So once I have a Hangout, and again, this is set for 10 a.m. on the 10th of June, what I will do is I will simply click on Links, and I will copy this video embed code that this Hangout gives me. Once I have the video embed code, I can go back to this page and put the live embed code here. What that will do then is when I want to start a webinar, this will automatically connect to my hangout and pick the page up from there so there we go as you can see this is what the webinar page looks like right now if i try and play this it tells me that you have to wait for another 24 hours till the webinar actually starts and this is how it works what i can then do is i can go into google hangout and i can start my webinar and as i start this people would log in and people would see this page and they could see the webinar live and they can interact with me right here and i can see the questions coming through why Google Hangouts and I can answer them right then and there. So this is how easy it is to set up your webinar pages with this software. The next thing that I wanted to show you was a webinar replay page. Once you're done with the webinar, you can also set up a webinar replay page so your customers will be able to see the webinar replay afterwards. Again, it's as simple as putting an embed code here, making sure your buttons are also made available here, as well as a countdown timer in case you are going to take away the webinar after a few days. And this is where the live Q&A things are placed. So any questions that you get, will be available here as well so you can also answer them through the back end or your team can answer them through the back end if needed lastly there's extra settings in place as well so if you wanted to change anything else in this case for example the opt-in form code or the thank you page code or anything else you could do that with this software it is very very easy to use and also for the end users who actually come and attend live webinars it's very easy for them to communicate with you as well in fact you can change these questions to facebook comments so that way you can collect testimonials live on call as well so i hope you found this useful and i hope you do get access to the software immediately